Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Microsoft is making another change to the out-of-box experience, also known as the OOBE, where Microsoft is now in the dev and the beta channels, which I've just posted on. I'll leave the video linked. In those builds, Microsoft is removing another workaround that allowed you to bypass the Microsoft account requirement while installing Windows. Now, just a quick recap, because back in March, as I posted, Microsoft had announced that it was removing the bypass NRO command script for setting up a local account instead of a Microsoft account when installing Windows. And Microsoft said it was to improve Windows 11 security and the user experience, according to Microsoft. And Microsoft mentioned that this change would ensure that all users needed internet connectivity and a Microsoft account to complete the setup. But obviously, this didn't stop a lot of users from using other workarounds. That's just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. Now, Microsoft, as mentioned in this week's Dev and Beta Channel Builds, has made a new announcement where it's removing known mechanisms for creating a local account during the Windows setup. And if we head over to that announcement, Local only commands removal. Microsoft says we are removing known mechanisms for creating a local account in the Windows Setup Experience, OOBE. While these mechanisms were often used to bypass Microsoft account setup, they also inadvertently skip critical setup screens, potentially causing users to exit OOBE with a device that is not fully configured for use. Users will need to complete OOBE with internet and a Microsoft account to ensure device is set up correctly. That's according to Microsoft. Now, the known mechanisms that Microsoft is referring to and the local only commands removal that Microsoft is referring to is most probably this command, the start MSCXH local only command, which a lot of folks were using as a means to bypass the online account requirement. Now, the whole reason for Microsoft doing this, according to this statement, is Microsoft claims that bypassing the Microsoft account setup, you also skip critical setup screens, which it alleges that this results in a device that is not fully configured for use. Bit of a strange one that. But nonetheless, that's what Microsoft has said, and that's their reason for doing this, which I think is going to cause quite a lot of debate in certain circles. Now, with all this said and done, there are still ways to get around it. There's Rufus. You can use third-party tools like Rufus. There's another tool called FlyOOBE, which we feature now on the channel. I've started posting a couple of videos on that bypass system requirements tool. And something else regarding this new announcement by Microsoft is an internet connection is also required. But just remember, you can always set up using a Microsoft account. And then you can sign in and sign out once you have set up your device. Create a local account and you won't be asked to use an MSA, a Microsoft account again. So there are a good couple of workarounds. But nonetheless, that's the latest. Just letting you guys know that Microsoft has announced that a Microsoft account is now required during Windows 11 OOBE. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.